So, welcome to Java Thread uh, tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how to perform uh, thread communication and uh, we will solve the typical producer consumer problem. Okay, so just have a brief. So, in producer consumer system, we have two entities. First one is producer and second one is consumer. Okay. So, task of the producer is to put an item, produce an item. The task of the consumer is to get the item. And this entire event is happening in one isolation. This we can refer as a class. Okay. So, what method the producer has? Put. Put up item. And what method the consumer has? get okay so what will happen when producer put an item one what consumer will get item one when producer put an item two what consumer will get item two okay so this is overall overall producer consumer problem so if you draw we can we'll say this class has a queue we we'll define this class as a queue okay so we'll say class Q okay. and we can say it has two methods first one is put item and second one is get item Okay, so what is item? An integer item. Okay, so when producer put an item, okay, for the consumer, then it has to notify the consumer. Okay, and it has to go to wait state. Similarly, for the consumer, when consumer get this item, then it has to notify the producer then it has to go to wait state so both have two methods wait and notify so producer has uh, two object methods wait and notify consumer has two object method wait and notify so we fill in the blanks here we will say wait and notify for wait and notify ok so since uh, wait having a interrupt exception we will put into try catch ok now producer has to start first so it, it it has to notify first okay because this producer has to produce first so and then it has to go to wait state okay consumer has to consumer always be in waiting state first and then it has to notify okay so we have to to control two uh, uh, since uh, one thing I forgot, since we are uh, checking the monitor state, so we have to have this method in the synchronized locked. Okay, so put is in synchronized block and sync is uh, get method is in synchronized. Okay, to avoid illegal monitor state. Okay, so now come to now wait, not sorry. Now producer has to notify first and then it has to go to wait state and consumer has to wait first then it has to go to notify state then to control this behavior we have to declare another boolean variable let's say busy ok so for the producer we have to see whether this is busy ok Ok, 
okay and for the consumer we have to see not busy okay so here busy check here is not busy check so uh, when producer is uh, has to notify then it has to change the state also so we have to say busy is equal to true so it has changed the state then it has notified to the consumer thread so so it will come to this uh, get method and first it will check whether this is uh, true then it will wait otherwise it will notify okay so this is overall like architecture of the producer consumer problem now we will uh, put the algo algorithm to apply the uh, item like it like putting an item and getting an item so this is all about the thread communication so once uh, once we draw the architecture how the threads are going to communicate with uh, put and get and get and put then we have to figure out we have to put the item okay so when producer is putting and we have to say this dot item is equal to item okay similarly so get front after notifying we have to return item this dot item okay so once we achieve this mechanism then we can we have to write to the two separate class one for producer one for consumer and both these two class uh, either extend thread or implement enable okay and uh, in the main program we have to start the producer thread first okay thank you thanks for watching